So in this third Blackboard lesson, we're going to carry on looking at sound and we're looking at the whole process of the digitization of sound, you know, the conversion of an analog sound into a digital recreation. So that involves basically sample rate and bit depth. So I'm going to break it down in a real nice, easy to understand concept. So if we've got our analog waveform and we want to turn that into a digital sound, we need an ADC. So this is an analog to digital converter. Okay, so you got the A, the D, and the C. And what it does is literally it slices the audio into chunks. It's the only way to describe it really. Have you seen the film Tron? You've got Flynn, he sits down, there's a laser, it slices him up into pieces and then recreates him piece by piece in the digital world. So it's the same kind of concept. So I'll show you here. Here's a waveform, we slice it up. So we actually slice it up a specific time frame. So this is a sample, all right? So each one of these is a sample. So I'm just gonna do S, S, S. How many times per second is the actual sample rate? Okay, so sample rate. This is how many samples are taken per, se per second. So when you make that sample, there's also a volume measurement that's made. So look at this. So at the intersection points, just drawing a little circle here. This is very crude, all right? But look, this is a concept. We get a digital version of the waveform. This is very, very primitively drawn here. But you get the concept, all right? So we get this stepped look. And what I've got here is on the screen here, on WaveLab, you can see the actual samples. So if I just zoom in further, this is on a sine wave. Going down to the highest zoom level, you can see here, these are samples, they're equal in length with CD quality. There's 44,100 of those things a second. All right. So CD equals 44,100 samples per second. So abbreviated, that's 44.1 kilohertz. So you're probably all aware of that, right? So that's on the horizontal, that's time, slicing the audio up. Now, what about the vertical measurement, all right? So I'm gonna tell you about this. This is the actual bit depth. So I want you to just have a think about a scale on the left-hand side, right? So this representing silence. So that's here. And then the loudest level at the top. What we've got is a vertical scale, all right? So this is like a resolution and as human beings we can hear a big difference between loud and quiet we're really good at telling the difference so we need a good level of detail to represent the the loudness of that sound so when it comes to 16 bits you know like cd stuff um that's basically 65,536 steps all right so let me just set up another page so we're talking about bit depth So if we're slicing the wave up, this time we're focusing on how much detail do we get here? So I'm gonna say 16 bit. Just imagine this is like a vertical ruler. And so we're gonna get the closest match to those points on that scale here, All right? So there are 65,000, 16 bit equals 65,536 basically steps on that vertical scale for the loudness scale. All right, so this is literally just breaking it down nice and simple. Now, people have been saying, yeah, you should be recording in 24 bit, and there's a reason for that. And what it is, is that when you go to 24 bit, the resolution increases by a very large amount. So 24 bit, is, I never remember this one off by heart, but it's uh, 16 million 
777 thousand that is 216 steps right so that's like a really really fine level of detail on here that's what's going on so we get a closer recreation of the sound compared to real life like the analog signal so that's something to bear in mind you know 24 bit you know that when you're dealing with tracks and remixes a lot of the record labels just say right give us a 24 bit master so um this is the reason why all right because it gives you greater a recreation that's much more accurate in terms of the actual volume of sound because our ears are very very good at telling the difference so that's a little breakdown there of the whole thing about sampled waveforms